The St. Louis Cardinals have long been known for having one of the most passionate and dedicated fan bases in Major League Baseball. With 11 World Series championships to their name, the franchise's storied history and tradition of excellence set the bar high for success. However, the Cardinals' struggles over the past two seasons have tested the patience of their loyal supporters. A team that consistently finds itself in postseason contention now faces increasing frustration as back-to-back -back playoff misses have left fans wondering if the current direction is sustainable. Since manager Ali Marmel took over after the 2021 season, replacing former manager of the year candidate Mike Schilt, the Cardinals have not won a single playoff game. Marmel, who was brought in to inject new energy into the franchise, has faced mounting pressure as expectations from the fanbase remain sky-high. The Cardinals have not been the consistent force they once were, and the lack of success under Marmel's leadership has led to calls for a change at the managerial level. While Marmel led the Cardinals to a division title in his first season, the subsequent playoff drought has caused many to question whether he is the right fit for a team that prides itself on being a perennial contender. For a fan base that is accustomed to winning, back to back seasons without making the playoffs simply isn't acceptable. The calls for Marmel's dismissal have grown louder and speculation about his future continues to swirl. While some believe he deserves more time to develop the younger core of the team, others argue that a fresh voice is needed in the clubhouse to restore the Cardinals to their former glory. Amidst this uncertainty, a familiar name has emerged as a potential candidate for the managerial role, Yadier Molina, the legendary Cardinals catcher who spent his entire 19-year career with the franchise. Molina is widely regarded as one of the most intelligent and respected baseball minds of his generation, and his potential return to St. Louis as a manager has sparked significant interest among fans and analysts alike. Recent developments in Molina's post-playing career could pave the way for his return to the Cardinals, not as a player, but as their next manager. Molina has owned the Vaqueros de Bayamon, a professional basketball team in Puerto Rico, since 2020. However, it appears that Molina may be preparing to move on from that role. According to reports from El Nuevo Dia and journalist Jorge Figueroa Loza, Molina is in negotiations to sell the team to urban music producer Eric Duars ahead of the 2025 season. If you don't want to miss the latest news, subscribe to this channel now because we are always attention to the latest news from St. Louis Cardinals. Molina's ownership of the Vaqueros has been a significant part of his life since he retired from Major League Baseball in 2022, even taking time off during his final playing season to attend to team-related duties. The possible sale of the Vaqueros would free Molina from those responsibilities, opening the door for him to shift his focus back to baseball. If he does sell the team, it could signal Molina's readiness to pursue a managerial career, a move that many Cardinals fans would undoubtedly welcome with open arms. The idea of Yadier Molina managing the Cardinals is more than just a sentimental notion. As one of the most revered players in franchise history, Molina's leadership, baseball acumen, and deep connection to the team make him a natural fit for the job. During his playing days, he was known not only for his defensive prowess behind the plate but also for his ability to manage a pitching staff, call games, and mentor younger players. Molina was essentially an on-field manager throughout his career and many believe that transitioning to the dugout would be a seamless move for him. Should Molina become the Cardinals' next manager, it would represent a new era for the franchise, one built on the foundation of a player who understands the winning culture that St. Louis expects. His potential appointment would bring renewed optimism to a fanbase that is desperate for a return to the playoffs and a shot at another World Series title. Molina's knowledge of the game, coupled with his deep ties to the organization, would give him instant credibility in the clubhouse and among the fanbase. While nothing is set in stone, Molina's potential return to the Cardinals as manager has already sparked excitement. His departure from his basketball team in Puerto Rico would mark the beginning of a new chapter in his career, one that could bring him back to where it all started, St. Louis. As the Cardinals navigate through an offseason filled with tough decisions, the possibility of a Molina reunion looms large. If the Cardinals do decide to move on from Marmel, Yadier Molina seems like a natural choice to take the reins. Not only would he bring a wealth of experience and leadership to the role, but he would also symbolize the continuity of the Cardinals' proud tradition. For a franchise looking to recapture its winning ways, there may be no better candidate to lead the way than one of the greatest players to ever wear the Cardinals' uniform.